Okay, so let's get started. So Madison Cawthorn is like, you know, uh, Madison Cawthorn comes out. Uh, he's a uh, congressperson, the youngest congressperson in American history, if I'm not mistaken, uh, out of North Carolina. He's seen as a rising star in the Republican Party. But of course, uh, as a rising star in the Republican Party, you are going to be a controversial figure regardless. Uh, people say that, uh, you know, I mean, he kind of alluded to like being in the military. He like LARPed as like a military guy a little bit uh, when he was running. And then, you know, as though he like got his injury in the military or something. And then immediately people were like, that's not true. So then he was like, well, actually, I was going to go into like I was slated to become a Navy SEAL, but then I couldn't because I got into this car crash. And then they were like, no, that's not true either. Um, and, you know, there's like. He's the current youngest. Is on, not in history. Okay, current youngest. Um, yeah, he said he w got accepted to the Naval Academy. That was not real. Um, so, you know, he's a bit of a LARPer. He, he he talked about how he was like a real estate guy, but then that wasn't real either. You know what I mean? He's like 27 years old. He's pretty young. Um, he also like lied about the car crash that he was in, where he said that like his homie literally left him to fucking die, when in fact like his homie actually in the car crash saved his fucking life. And like risked his own life to save his life. And it was such an outrageous thing to say that even uh, Madison Cawthorn's own family was like, shut the fuck up, Madison. That's crazy. So he's on the hustle grind set. Yes, he is really on the hustle grind set, which, you know, I, I, I think that that stuff is just like very normal for Republicans and politicians in general, but especially Republicans. Like if you want to be successful, you have to have a DUI or like. I don't know, one of your fucking staffers was murdered or something in a suspicious circumstance. Like, there's no other way that you can become, um, you know, a successful politician outside of that, uh, in the Republican Party especially, right? So, at least one. It's a prerequisite, right? Or you have to do some sussy shit with, like, maybe, uh, especially, this is a Florida clause. If you're a Republican congressperson in Florida, like, either the murder has to happen or you have to, like, have some you know, very weird uh, experiences with the with the arbitrary nature of age of consent laws, you know, that sort of thing, right? Libertarianism. So, um, so basically that's popping off for Madison, but like, that's not really anything. It doesn't really hurt him that much. But then Madison goes on, um, Madison goes on the, the like warrior poet was it wounded warrior poet or some warrior poet society like these fucking like conservative veterans that you know cry all the fucking time i don't know and but they're also like rugged individualist men they're like black rifle coffee but also like i cry and i like poetry that's how i imagine they are i don't know anything about them he goes on that fucking podcast okay and it's not the wounded warrior project i just like mixed it up it's the warrior poet society i think um he goes on their podcast okay and I think he's like really young and, and I think he wants to like, he wants to make an impact. Uh, he's really young there and he wants to like come across as cool. I mean, look at him. He's like wheeling his fucking protein shake here. So, um, on that, on that interview, he basically talks about like how, how corrupt DC is. He basically says, um, this, I'm going to show Madison you. Madison Cawthorn with the nope, Warrior I'm, Society. I'm actually. Like, look at how excited he is. He's like, yeah, the, the Warrior Poet Society. Like, this is what, this is, all the prior Julian stuff Chuck. that happened to Madison Cawthorn was, like, completely negligible, doesn't really matter, doesn't hurt him in any meaningful capacity until he goes on the homes. Wounded, or not the Wounded Warrior, sorry, the Warrior Poet Society podcast, this, this podcast right here, and he says some things about Republicans, right? He's like, and it's literally just a random comment. Okay. And I think in most circumstances, they probably would have just, like any normal human being, probably would have just not even thought about it. I'm going to show you the comments real quick. I just got to find them. I can't find the timestamp real quick. Uh, bur 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 bur, where is the transcription? Okay. He says, uh, do, 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 do. orgy. Okay. Let's, let's keyword search orgy on here. That's a fun thing to do. Okay. Okay, here it is. Here's the good stuff. So he's like talking about like... The thing I that's mean, he not gets accurate in that show is that you could never get a piece of legislation about, uh, about education passed that quickly. And that's, everything else is good. Uh, aside <laughs> from that, I mean, 
the sexual perversion that goes on in Washington. I mean, it, being kind of a young guy in Washington, the average age is probably 60 or 70. I'm going to go ahead and assume he was trying to do like a QAnon adjacent take here, and then it like kind of fell apart. And I look at all these people, a lot of them that I, I, you know, I've looked up to through my life, I've always paid attention to politics, guys that, you know, it, then all of a sudden you get invited to, like, well, hey, we're going to have kind of a, a, a sexual get-together at one of our homes. You should come. And I'm like, what, what, what did you just ask me to come to? Yeah. And then you realize they're asking. I think, like, I think he was, like, trying to be cool. Also, there's so much about this because it's like, I do want to, I want to believe this. I want to personally believe this. In the bottom of my heart, I wanted to believe this. The moment I heard this, I was like, I mean, do they do, like, freak sex shit in, in Washington, D.C.? Of course they do. Um... Like, is it to the extent of, like, Joe Biden is eating babies? Like, Joe Biden has half-eaten babies in a basement. Like, is it to that degree? Absolutely. Yes, that is how... That it, yes. Yes, that's what's going on, okay? Um, but, like, obviously, it's not to that degree, but, like, they do fucking weird shit, right? Of course. It's like Hollywood for ugly people, right? Um, so... So do I believe that Republicans would invite Madison Cawthorn to one of these fucking orgies? Yes. Would they also ask in the most goober way possible by being like, would you like to come to a sexual get together? Also, yes. Fuck yes. So that's like eight points for Madison Cawthorn on behalf of him, like probably being honest in, in this circumstance. Okay, look. You should come on there. Like like, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna run this. I've always paid attention to politics, guys. That you know, it, then all of a sudden you get invited to like, well, hey, we're gonna have kind of a, a, a sexual get together at one a kind of sexual get together. Like I can totally see that. Also, Madison's good looking. Okay, he's a hottie. He's a baddie, dude. Okay, he's a baddie. Probably one of the other reasons why you know some of the uh, some of the older Republicans were like, maybe I could LARP as though you're underage. You know what I mean? Like. That's part of the reason why they probably one of our him. homes. You should come. They're like, what, what? What did you just ask me to come to? Yeah. Uh, and then you realize they're asking you to come to an orgy, yeah. uh, or, or the fact that you know there's some of the people that are leading on the movement to try and remove, you know, addiction in our country. And then you watch them do, you know, a key bump of cocaine right in front of you, and it's like, wow, this is this is wild. And then there's also kind of the whole espionage aspect of what goes on in Washington of, you know, so many people trade in secrets and there, there's a currency to secrets. And yeah. so uh, it, it's wild. And then, you know, there's members of the, of the, the media, the journalists who kind of will keep nasty stories about you or about other people on a shelf. And then what if you're about to kind of speak out against something they don't want you to, they'll come out and say, well, we're about to drop the story of when, you know, 17 years ago you did X, Y, and Z. And you don't want us to drop that story. Do you? So called opposition research this part is absolutely true but also think about how prescient madison cawthorn was um what is the joke it's like foreshadowing is a is a plot vehicle my man pre-watched this harder than i pre-watch videos okay madison cawthorn it's like he was looking into the future it's like he opened up a fucking beep, beep. okay he just he just opened up a window into the future he just ripped the space-time continuum okay Foreshadowing is a narrative device. Foreshadowing is a narrative device. Okay, so... Anyway... So he just, like, does this, and then after this pops off, and most people would have probably not thought about this twice, okay? They would have been like, oh, look at that. He's, like, a cutie. He's trying to be cool. He's trying to be cool. Look at him with his backwards cap. You know what I mean? Talking to the warrior poet guy. He wants to like flex on him. You know what I mean? Like, come on, please like me. You're a veteran. I almost wanted to, uh, but I couldn't. Anyway, um, but like not really. So, you know, they could have just like dropped this. Instead, though, this happens. Does anyone have Madison Cawthorn crying after uh, talking to Kevin McCarthy? Because the same Republican Party that never really gets mad or never really gets upset about wife is a bitch and so am I, baby girl. Thank you. I am a material girl. Okay. So Kevin McCarthy, the House GOP leader, who doesn't give a fuck unless like, I mean, you don't, you could just fucking say the 14 words, Sig Heil, and probably Kevin McCarthy would not say anything about that. But the moment he talked about the orgy, it's like, whoa, hold on. The fuck? And they basically bring him in 
and berate him, okay? And I, I mean, like, they didn't just, like, baby berate him. They fucking ripped him, okay? They ripped him harder than this ab break rips at the top of the fucking hour. I mean, they just straight up rips directly into the middle of the stream, and you're like, fuck, man. But fear not. Of course, if you if you want an ad-free broadcasting experience, all you need to do is subscribe. You know, you're like, fuck, I don't want to see these ads no more. You know, this is one way to support the show. Uh, for $5 or for free, if you have a Twitch Prime, by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, you get one free Prime subscription a month. Um, here is the one minute ad break now. You can also get gifted a sub if you're lucky, but that's not always uh, the case. You need to make your own luck. Here's the one minute ad break now. So back to the story. So Kevin McCarthy says he rebuked Madison Cawthorn over the orgy take. So here it is. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy brings him in and basically is uh, says he lost his trust in him because of the salacious claims that were that, that there could be consequences as a result. He didn't specify what those consequences could be. And not only that, but also like Republicans were <laughs> apparently getting calls from their constituents about like being sexual perverts. You know what I mean? Like, are you the constituents were calling in and being like, are you one of them that gets you know, that goes to the sexual get togethers? And the Republicans, of course, were like, no, uh, I wish, except, you know, they probably were. So. So basically, basically, that uh, he gets ripped apart. There's a photo that I want to show you of him wheeling out of uh, Kevin McCarthy's, uh, you know, office, like that, to, to for you to understand. Like, I can't find it though. God damn it! Does anyone know? Can anyone find it? Madison Cawthorn. Oh, here, 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 here. This is it. I mean, this is iconic, dude. Yeah, look at that. He's like, <coughs> I mean, my man is, <coughs> my man is red in the face from crying. Okay. Representative Madison Cawthorn just left McCarthy's office. He met with the GOP leader minority whip Stephen Scalise for roughly 30 minutes. Cawthorn didn't respond to my questions about the meeting as he was leaving. Like he's literally fucking, he, he's like bald. Okay. And by the way, King, there's nothing wrong with expressing your feelings, okay? I'm just going to let you know right now, Madison, you're watching, nothing wrong with expressing your feelings. Uh, I side with you on this. Fuck Kevin McCarthy and fuck Steven Scalise, okay? Um, <laughs> McCarthy 100% threatened to kill his family? No, they didn't. They probably, they should, they, <clears throat> they probably said some like, that kind of stuff is not what, what works, I think. Like, the, I think what happened is like they, they probably were like, you're going to lose everything. Like, we're going to take everything away from you. So then when this popped off, I said, that's really interesting. Um, this makes the sexual get together argument a little bit more true. Because, because, you know, this is kind of weird. Like the Republicans don't operate this way. Usually like they never operate this way. That's crazy, right? And at the time, I was thinking to myself, like, you know, maybe it's real. I was like at, a, at like a 45% because I know how fucking perverted these DC freaks are, right? The DC elite are. Um, I was at like 35, 40%, maybe 45%, you know, could be real, could not be, who knows, right? Um, but then the drip feed of opposition research started coming in as the... May uh, or May, yeah, May seventeenth primary that uh, Madison Cawthorn is about to go to. Opt the fuck off. Now there's a lot of drip feed of opposition research out there that is discrediting Madison Cawthorn from a very deliberate, very specific, and ultimately very weird way. The Daily Beast came out with an article um, where uh, the Politico came out with an article and the Daily Beast came out with an article. Both of these articles were uh, on different things. I think one of them was about him potentially, um, Madison Cawthorn potentially uh, engaging in uh, uh, some, some insider trading. Um, the Washington Examiner came out with an article. The National Review came out with an article. Right now, if I Google Madison Cawthorn, I mean, it's like, it's crazy, right? Madison Cawthorn accuses the establishment of targeting him, which I do believe is the case for the record. 
Okay. Madison Cawthorn Stafford touches the congressman's crotch in a new leaked video. He's continuing to face criticism. Opinion. Madison Cawthorn is a Republican, is a problem Republican created for themselves. Um, it came out that he was uh, in drag. Here it is. Here's the political exclusive seven days ago. Madison Cawthorn looking fabulous. If I do, if I do say so myself, looking absolutely, uh, absolutely fabulous. I mean, looks beautiful. King. I mean, great body fat percentage, looking vascular, looking good, looking tight, definitely working on those biceps. I mean, you look, look, you have to respect someone who has the, the separation of the deltoid in the, in the tricep area like this. I mean, this is good. If you can spot a dude's triceps from the front, okay, and you can spot that separation, that's, I respect that, okay? Sorry, I am literally a a uh you know a, a man who appreciates these things and i'm biased okay sorry okay so so then everyone's like you know <laughs> then liberals got in on the fun and they were just being fucking crazy about it um you know liberals got in on the fun and basically we're just saying bro i think you're just gay um that's wishful thinking for you there is literally no reason for me not to be a gay man if anything it would uh probably be good and better for my career if i was uh or coming out if i was but um i'm just a fitness pervert okay anyway also let me be real with you for a second fellas i've talked about this a lot if you're a cisset guy and you work out a little gay okay it's a little gay not a little it's a lot gay actually anyway so retweet to thank us on for being gay okay can you stop hyping up this little nazi um can you shut the fuck up you dumbass and trust the plan for once in your entire fucking life can you is it possible no it's not because you can't shut the fuck up you think you know better you want to fucking you want to take the wheels and drive the fucking stream in your direction how about I'm lucky that I never listened to fuck faces like you when I had 35 people watching and I will continue not to listen to fuck faces like you when I have 35,000 people watching. Trust the fucking plan and shut the fuck up and strap the fuck down and enjoy the ride. How about that? How about I do what I do best and you do what you do best, which is shit posting in the chat. Shut the fuck up and shit post in the chat. Okay. Now. <sighs> I'm feeling great. So. There, I mean, none of this stuff is bad. Like, the irony is the original stuff about, like, uh, girls in college saying that he would, you know, drive them, like, aggressively and, like, scare them, all this other stuff, that, that was actually not good. That was actually bad, right? Those accusations early on were bad. They didn't even hurt him at all. But now they're trying to hurt him by hitting him with, like, accusations that are so fucking stupid. I don't even think Madison Cawthorn is gay, for the record. I know that like a lot of liberals think that he's gay. Also, he does look like uh, he does look like a, 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 you know, West Hollywood Equinox sauna goer. OK, I'll be honest. He does. He looks like, a, you know, a, a hot twink that you would see in a West Hollywood uh, Equinox sauna. OK. Having said that, though, um, do I think he's gay? I don't know. This, uh, some of the stuff that has come out so far has not led me to believe he is gay. But uh, but if you ask liberals, when they saw this, Occupy Democrats, dude is totally bi though, come on. I think he could be. I, I do think he could be bi. Anyway, yeah, li libs with rainbow uh, flags in their bio, basically calling Cawthorn slurs now. Yeah, people are fucking losing their shit. The way that liberals reacted to this was like, I guess, typical bottom at drag brunch. <laughs> um... But even if he is, even if he is bi, which I don't know, and, and if he is, more power to him. Who gives a fuck? That's not, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, obviously. <laughs> what the evidence that has come out, the evidence that has come out about him and his sexuality potentially is not enough to, to meet that standard. They're trying to very, they're trying to fit that narrative and be like, he's bisexual or he's gay or whatever. But like, it's not. It is not true. It's literally fucking not true. Um, cause 
uh, the it doesn't meet the standard. Like <laughs> it's it's shit like him uh, dressing up in lingerie or uh, fucking doing stuff that like uh, jovial cishet men who themselves oftentimes are very homophobic do to one another, right? Like at this point, it's like he's just, he's as queer coded as Harry Styles. Okay. <laughs> Like he's gonna do a he's gonna do a Rolling Stones article and be like, oh, uh, you know, it's like sexuality is personal to me, and I don't want to, you know, just like let anybody know anything about it. You know, I'm like, <laughs> oh god, okay, <laughs> like he's he's queer baiting a little bit. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so. You don't have to be bi gay to enjoy wearing drag. Anyway, yeah, it's just fraternity kid behavior. Just another fucking stupid rich kid getting drunk with a couple stupid. Jesus Christ, dude. Okay, like at first I was like, okay, the fraternity rich kid behavior is fine, but like, what do we need? A couple of stupid whores? Like, no, dude, no. Calm down, okay? Jesus Christ. So, um, where was I? Where was I? So. This comes out, Occupy Democrats. Does anyone have the Occupy Democrats tweet? Like, Occupy Democrats is literally just like calling him the F slur, pretty much. It's like, retweet to call Madison Cawthorn to F slur. <laughs> it was awesome. Like, Occupy Democrats. Whenever something happens, I'm like, what is Occupy Democrats going to tweet about? You know what I mean? What, is, what does Occupy Democrats have to say about this in the most unhinged, uh, in the most unhinged way? Okay. Breaking, Representative MAGA Representative Madison Cawthorn whines that his establishment is waging a coordinated drip campaign against him and says an attack article will drop every few days to kill him with a death by a thousand cuts. Retweet if you think we deserve to know all of his secrets. <laughs> is implicated in a possible insider trading scandal. Uh, photos leak exposing Madison Cawthorn partying while dressing in a skimpy lingerie and hoop earrings while drinking with women. Cawthorn previously claimed that he refused to attend Republican cocaine orgies. Retweet if you think that he must resign. <laughs> this is the one where they celebrate his divorce. I mean, dude, I love Occupy Democrats, though. Here's why, okay? Here's what I gotta say. This, this kind of unhinged, over-the-top liberal behavior reminds me of Bush-era liberalism, and I love that. I love that, straight up. I unironically am in support of having, like, our own fucking deranged fedayeen on at least like the the left side or the center left side that like behaves in the way that Republicans do like the Midas touch guys you know what I mean like the Occupy Democrats guys they they actually behave as though they are liberals from the Bush era and I love that it's awesome because Bush era liberalism used to be like very aggressive like they would just straight up they would just be like insane to republicans in the same way that republicans are insane to uh liberals and i feel like democrats have gotten so uh so focused on like aesthetic uh, civility and all this other shit and it's uh, quite frustrating and they're they're feckless and they're cowardly like i want i want this kind of fucking militancy right uh, even though they do go way overboard and and will say like really sus shit but I do think that that's funny. So I, I don't really care. I'm going to be honest. So um, this is unironically the oldest straight joke. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Midas Touch doing that thing that they do best. Okay. Love them. Love that for them. Keep doing it. You know, keep popping off kings, queens. Uh, Thempers, whatever. Breaking. Disney hits hard back at Ron DeSantis of the GOP. Says Florida can't legally dissolve its self-governing district unless the state pays off the district's one billion debts due to a pledge in the original 1967 law. Retweet if you stand with Disney against the GOP. What? <laughs> Retweet if you <laughs> if you stand with one of the worst mega corporations that is responsible for like every piece of IP. I mean, patent legislation that has ever passed. Retweet. And the motherfuckers are like, yes, 27,000 people were like, I am retweeting. I cannot hit the retweet button fast enough. Every single one of your moms, okay, in Minnesota, in Idaho, every single one of your moms goes, logs on Twitter to fucking retweet this shit, okay? They're like, fuck yes. I am, I am high as giraffe pussy off that fucking box wine, off that Franzia, and I will retweet this motherfucking thing in between 
posting Beyonce reaction gifts. Okay. In between posting re Beyonce reaction gifts under Rachel Maddow tweets, I am retweeting this shit like crazy. Anyway, it's, it's awesome. Okay, so millennial Disney Sims retweeting that shit too? Of course. So I don't want to go too far into the Occupy Democrats range here, but like they do play a role here with their incredibly deranged way of like uh, dealing with this new information that keeps coming out about Madison Cawthorn. And I really respect it. So, <laughs> um, anyway, so that pops off, right? And then, uh, the, the, the lingerie video, uh, photos come out, who cares? Right. And then, uh, there's allegations against him that he might have, uh, done some insider trading, uh, a little bit of insider trading. There's like some cryptocurrency scams going on. Right? Dude, this is like 2012 Twitter. Yeah. So let's watch the, the, the CNN coverage of it to give a better like summary of what's going on. Okay. Land Security Chairman Benny Thompson urging the TSA to punish Republican Congressman Madison Cawthorn to the fullest extent possible after Cawthorn was caught with a loaded handgun at a TSA checkpoint. I, I do emphasize loaded handgun to begin with, but a loaded handgun in an airport. It's just the latest controversy for the youngest member of Congress. Diane Gallagher is out front. So flying home from D.C. Congressman Madison Cawthorn on Instagram. Like they, they got mad at him for bringing a gun to the airport. I thought this was America, not communist China. OK. Like straight up. I, I thought this was America. What, it's like very cool to be able to bring a gun to an airport. I thought you could do that. What's going on here? Why are they free my man? Free my man. Free Cawthorn, dude. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I didn't realize this was a thing. You know what? Oh, what, what's next? You can't bring box cutters? Get the fuck out of here. Instagram. Which he actually did. He brought knives to a school too, apparently. Appearing to make light of his latest criminal charge. Just went through TSA, no major alarms, nothing bad happened. Mr. Speaker. This week, for the second time since taking office just over a year ago, Cawthorn was stopped from carrying a gun through airport security. The TSA confirming to... Bro, he has ops. He has ops. Kevin McCarthy and his shooters could be literally trying to kill him, okay, at any moment. He has to be rolling around with his fucking gun hidden in his bag, okay? I'm sorry. That's the reason why he has to fucking... He, he keeps that fucking thing on him, okay? Don't make him pull out the nine. Never will catch, you will never catch him lacking, okay? He is going to be rolling around deep, okay? He always keeps the fucking glizzy. Always. To CNN, that Tuesday morning, agents at Charlotte Douglas International Airport detected this loaded pistol at a checkpoint. Charlotte police... Oh my God, he brought a loaded one? You know he did this on purpose, dude. This is the type of shit that, like, actually helps him with his constituency, okay? North Carolina, like... All the fucking golfing, like, retired admirals in North Carolina are like, yeah, that's a good boy right there. Yeah, what do you mean? He, yeah, he, he keeps it on him. He, he needs to defend himself. You know, he's a congressperson. Okay. Seized the handgun and cited the freshman congressman, who they said was... That's bullshit. They seized it. Give it back. Give it back immediately. Cooperative with a misdemeanor charge of possession of a dangerous weapon on city property. He could also <laughs> face up to nearly $14,000 in TSA fines as a repeat offender. Bullshit. Cawthorn called it a Fuck quote, the flat out mistake in his Instagram caption. Fly safe. Make sure you don't have a gun in your bag. The Republican representative was not charged. Bro, he, he lives, breathes the Second Amendment. Okay, this man, he, this man believes in his, in his cause, in his purpose. Okay, it's not just a toy to him. He just, it's a part of his body. That's a two thousand dollar nine millimeter staccato twenty eleven. Dude carries competition shit. Yeah, dude. I mean, you guys have seen this motherfucker akimbo at the gun range. I respect it. Charged in February twenty twenty one when Asheville Regional Airport agents found a different they see gun him in rolling. his carry on bag. <laughs> they hate team told him. the Asheville Citizen Times last year that he brought the gun by mistake. His run-ins with law enforcement not limited to air travel. Cawthorn is set to appear before a judge in May on charges of driving with a revoked license. Dash cam video. Oh, and then this came out. Yes, exactly. He was, <laughs> my man loves driving, okay? And he loves driving very dangerously. He loves driving very dangerously. You would expect like, you know, Greg Abbott avoids trees, right? 
Don't think Greg Abbott has, will ever be in the forest ever again for the rest of his life. Madison Cawthorn, on the other hand, was like, fuck that. One, I, Madison Cawthorn also hates trees, beats the shit out of trees. But two, doesn't give a fuck. He will drive nonstop and he will drive illegally and he will drive very fast. By a coalition of North Carolina news organizations shows the March 3rd stop for driving left of center and an expired tag where a trooper tells the youngest member of Congress. That yeah, they were like, yeah, again, it's, it's conspiracy. Oh, here it is. Here's our boy. Here's our boy right here going to Kimbo. Had to erase the evidence that I got beat in this one. <laughs> um okay here's madison cawthorn absolutely destroying the forest he's like this is what i think about he's like this is what i think about climate change you fucking hippie pussies you tree huggers get him fucking get him dude okay get him he's beating that ass dude this is revenge for greg abbott that's what he's doing solidarity my man was like solidarity with greg abbott fuck trees <laughs> okay anyway um he could defeat you probably um okay so and then here it is here it is the Kimbo. Many <laughs> Patriot takes is so good. Again, another another one of these like outlets that does this stuff, and I respect it and I love it. Okay, Madison Cawthorn was recently in the shooting range. Many are saying Cawthorn is demonstrating poor shooting form. It's like, yeah, I mean, I've done it too. So. Um. <clears throat> So sounds like someone slapping a fish should have put some background music. He ain't defeating anyone. Just stand on. Wait. Okay, dude. Okay. Let's not. Let's let's try to not make ableist jokes here. Okay. Um. Anyway, let's continue. Yeah, but have you done it sitting down? No, I have not done it sitting down. Okay. Okay. Let's let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right. Let's let's not keep the ableist jokes going, but let's keep let's keep this rolling here. Okay. Let's roll through this. Um. So. You know, that, that stuff came out of him being extremely cool, okay? So they're like, oh, I brought a gun. Fucking, you know, who, who doesn't want to drive illegally? I mean, come on. I thought, again, once again, thought this was America, not communist China. Fuck off, guys. All right, so... And his license is revoked. Though the what's next? Are we going to need a license to toast our own damn toast in our own house? You know, fuck that. Reason ...is unclear. But the record that has Republicans on the Hill riled up isn't his legal one. It's his pattern of controversial comments. Madison is wrong. Like calling Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky a thug. This was insane. I don't know why, what prompted him to do this, but he straight up, that was, that was crazy. So they, first they try to get him with his lip shit, okay? I don't think Republicans give a fuck one way or the other, right? If Donald Trump, if Donald Trump has said that, they'd be like, fuck yeah, sir, you're right. We hate Zelensky. Anyway, let's continue. Remember that the Ukrainian government is incredibly corrupt and it is incredibly evil. And claiming he's been invited to cocaine-fueled orgies in D.C. Well, hey, we're going to have kind of a, a, a sexual get-together at one of our homes. You should come. They're like, I do think it's pretty funny that a Republican would say that, like, another government is corrupt and evil. Especially, like, if you're in the American government, you are automatically more evil than every other government combined. Pretty much. You know what I mean? So, I mean, yeah, Zelensky has uh, corruption charges against him as well before this, uh, you know, before this invasion. He was not necessarily super popular. It doesn't matter. Um, none of that justifies the invasion, obviously. But like, he's just, I don't even know why he's saying that. But specifically hilarious when, <laughs> when you got a Republican congressperson being like, wow, this guy is incredibly evil and corrupt. I'm like, what? My friend, have you seen like... Have you seen the American political infrastructure? Okay. So, also, Ukraine is corrupt for reasons Republicans would like and want in their own country? Oh, 100%. Okay, so... What, what, what did you just ask me to come to? Yeah. Uh, and then you realize they're asking you to come to an orgy. And then you watch them do you know, a key bump of cocaine right in front of you. That landed him a closed-door meeting with party leadership. I just told him he's lost my trust. He's going to have to earn it back. 
I laid out to everything. That, yeah, like uh, the Yakuza. He's like, you need to cut your fucking pinky off. I find is unbecoming. Members Sorry, I've been watching a lot of Tokyo Vice. And it's fucking great. Anyway. Of his own party are seeking to stop him from getting a second term. We're starting to see this coordinated drip campaign. Next month's primary has a crowded field of GOP candidates backed by state Republicans. They call it Instagram famous. Famous for what they post online. And they're leaning heavily on Cawthorn's slate of scandals. Bro, they're just making him look hot and cool. Okay? Like, the Republican strategy of shitting on Madison Cawthorn was basically like, he's hot and cool. Okay? Look at him having fun, like a normal person, and also looking incredibly sexy. So will any of this actually matter in the May 17th primary? Well, look, North Carolina's 11th... Especially when you look at who Madison Cawthorn, who's like trying to unseat Madison Cawthorn, and he is like the ultimate goober, dude. Look at this guy. Like fucking... Um, yeah, here it is. Uh, you got more trouble for GOP representative Madison Cawthorn. North Carolina Republican senator endorses the primary opponent. It doesn't matter. Donald Trump endorsed Madison Cawthorn. And I think he's going to stand by him most likely. Unless Donald Trump does like to fucking, you know, change his opinion when he sees like polls shift against someone. Um, and we'll literally be like, yeah, I'm revoking my endorsement. But we'll see. Um, where is it? Where is his fucking opponent? Like, I need to show you a photo of his opponent so you understand what this motherfucker like is just... You know, he'll be like, never heard of him. Madison Cawthorn, don't know. <coughs> um, Madison is a literal Nazi. How are people still supporting him? Hello, are you in the United States of America? Him being like Nazi adjacent is literally improving his chances of winning a Republican primary. What are you talking about, dude? What, what are you, what, what are you saying? Are we in the same universe right now? You're like, oh my God, everyone. What? That's a real, that's a real doozy for me. I don't understand. It's like, well, hello? Are you living in fucking reality, dude? Oh, this is the guy straight up. This is his fucking opponent, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. I mean, God damn, God damn, dude. I mean, on, on vibe checks and drip alone, Madison's got this in the bag, okay? I'm not just saying that because, you know, he's, he's coming on the stream. Straight up. Um, look at this fucking guy. You know, you know this dude is never reporting on the orgies. And judging by this look alone, you don't want to know what kind of orgies he's going to, all right? I mean, come on. Come on, dude. Come the fuck on. I mean, vibe check, failure, drastic, abysmal. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, okay, look. Anyway, so my attitude on this Republican primary across the board is that I don't even need to see what either of their positions are on any of these issues. It's a fucking Republican primary. They're both psychos who I will never agree with on a singular thing, okay? So I would rather, you know, I would rather see the truth about what is going on behind these cocaine orgies. And also on top of that, I would rather see the 27-year-old uh, who is uh, the 27-year-old whistleblower who punches trees and shit because it's like better content than whatever this fucking thing is, okay? Whatever this freak is about. So... um. Invite him on stream is only fair. Him? No, fuck no. <laughs> okay. Uh, I love you, but please turn off your phone and give me a call. I cannot support defending Madison. Please stop this. I know this is in your heart. Anyway, so this is not a defense of Madison Cawthorn. If you think that this is a defense of Madison Cawthorn, you're incredibly dense. This is a very fair assessment of Madison Cawthorn. Let's see one of his fucking ads, though. Here in the mountains, we don't seek the limelight. We put our heads down and we get to work. God damn, bro. Get the fuck out. It's so boring, dude. Do you know? Do you know what the space looks like? This is when liberal. This is like the most liberal ass ad I've ever seen. Motherfucker, you got Marjorie Taylor uh, Titan Green shooting fucking 50 cals into a Prius. 
And then he's like, oh, we don't seek the limelight. Like, Shut up, pussy. You're boring as fuck. No one's going to vote for you. Work. I'm Chuck Edwards, and that's what I've done in Raleigh. Balancing budgets, cutting taxes. Bro, that goatee straight up is not doing him favors. Like, he, he ain't beating the pedophile allegations, okay? I'm just, I'm sorry. You got a fucking goatee like that, and you were wearing the fucking, you know, uh, the, the, the cult leader sevens? Over here, it's like, come on. What are you trying to do? Outlawing sanctuary cities and protecting the Second Amendment. And it's what I'll do in Washington. If you want a celebrity, go watch the Kardashians. The fuck do you mean, dude? Donald Trump is the was the president and is still the most influential person in the Republican Party. Are you fucking stupid? Who the fuck is going to actually... It's 2022. No one gives a fuck about balancing the fucking budgets, dumbass. Oh, my Lord, dude. Okay, look, look, look. <laughs> this guy is so fucked. But if you want a proven conservative that will fight and win, then I'm your man. I'm Chuck Edwards, and I approve this message. The only way he wins is if North Carolina has open primaries and like a bunch of fucking horny libs go and vote for this uh, freak, okay? He won my vote, but I'm a burgundy sack. <laughs> he looks like he runs a debate pervert convention. I don't think he runs a debate pervert convention. He looks like he has some videotapes that if the FBI got a hold of, he would go to jail. Okay, so... Um, yeah, he's got, so yeah, just normal pervert stuff. So once again, once again, so we got Madison Cawthorn and we got this guy running again, like they put this guy up and they're trying to prop him up and they're trying to make him, you know, a thing, right? They're trying to, they're trying to turn him into like the guy. Um, but of course... I do think that um, it's quite difficult to do that, especially when like, you know, this is Donald Trump's Republican Party. And if you have someone who is like more aware of the media infrastructure in the space, uh, it's going to be really difficult to get like a goober like this dude to be like, oh, I hate, you know, spending time on camera. Instead, I will be spending time balancing the budget. Like, shut up, dude. You're an accountant. OK, shut the fuck up. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you heard about the orgies and decided to run. Yeah, exactly. So. The, yeah, this is like a establishment Democrat ass move to put this guy up. Um, however, if the Madison Cawthorn allegations actually reach outlets that are read by conservatives and seen by conservatives, i.e. Fox News, rather than the National Review, which is uh, in circulation to 12 people, um, or the Federalist, which, you know, again, 13 people read. Like, that's not going to do anything. The Washington Examiner, no one's going to fucking care. You know what I mean? If anything, CNN will pick up that and, and cover it. And then Madison Cawthorn could be like, look at the fucking establishment rhinos alongside the Democrat demons fucking disparaging me because I'm a brave truth teller. Right? So, so that, that will actually most likely favor him right unless fox news comes after him and starts saying like look yeah he's bad you know we need a new guy um in that case like you know that that will be different if donald trump for example like revokes his endorsement that will be bad for him in the primaries that are coming up but so far his shit is probably fine um i think they just want conspiracy nuts that's how they make money and not to behave like adults for corporations yeah um Cawthorn still leads by 20 points. It's down by 32, though. Yeah, but again, the, the, the tightening race for Cawthorn is still fucking, what, a 20-point lead? That's psychotic, dude. Like, you know. Like I said, if Donald Trump comes out and, like, doesn't defend Cawthorn or doesn't say anything about Cawthorn, then it could be different. If he revokes the Cawthorn, uh, if he revokes the Cawthorn endorsement, then that could be really bad for him. That could be really bad for him because, like, all these primaries on the Republican side are like, they're straight up. If you watch any campaign ads <clears throat> right now, if you're like a freak like I am, if, you're, if you have the same kind of derangement, pathology, mental illness that I have, where you go and like you fucking watch Republican campaign ads uh, uh, in the primaries for a fucking upcoming uh, midterm elections, you'll see them literally just like go 
and talk about how much they love Trump more. Like that's the most important thing in the Republican primaries is like who loves Trump more. If you think I'm joking, I'm not straight up. Like, so once you get a Trump endorsement, it's like pretty hard to, 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 uh, you know, once you get the Trump endorsement, it's kind of like the, the seal of approval. It's over. It's, uh, it's, it's, you know, you're probably going to win the, so it's even on, uh, it's even in man on the street segs. That's just it. Yeah. That's what people care about. That's what the actual Republicans care about. Not like this fucking establishment Rust Belt, uh, you know, wonk class cares about. Right. So, um, so all this shit pops off, but then finally we get to the last part of this bargain, last part of this equation, which is the insider trading allegations and, 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 um, the, the final step of the equation where they basically start saying he's gay. Okay. So this is really interesting. Um, new information came out yesterday. Um, where there was an ethics complaint filed against Madison Cawthorn by, uh, fuck, what is it? It's like Fire Cawthorn Pack or something. They like set up a pack for him specifically to attack him. And um, in, that, in that ethics complaint, they found Madison Cawthorn, uh, they, they found like a leaked video and Venmo payments on top of the leaked, uh, on top of the ethics complaint that was filed against him, where he's like joking with a staffer. And I'm going to give you the details now. The, the president of the PAC dedicated to removing Cawthorn from office has filed an ethics complaint against the congressman. The complaint alleges he did not properly file House financial disclosures regarding gifts and loans to Mr. Stephen L. Smith. By the way, Stephen L. Smith, Stephen A. Smith, very interesting, but of course it's not the same guy. A video reportedly featuring Cawthorn and Smith who works as the congressman's scheduler was published online Thursday. And now they're just basically saying he's gay. Here is the Midas Touch version of the video. We watched it last night. Um, in this video, he appears to be, uh, like, I don't know, doing poetry or something like joking around. And here's what happened. Be filled with passion and desire. I would like to see your naked body beneath my hands. Me too. I, yeah. <laughs> so they're basically saying like they're fucking gay. <clears throat> like he's, he's, uh, look gay man um which that in and of itself is not i think like this is just how straight dudes that are even in a lot of instances like super homophobic act uh so i don't think this is enough for someone to be gay i think someone was saying that he's potentially his cousin to the person who's doing that that's like weirder than actually being gay like way weirder obviously than him like uh you know fucking secretly being gay and in the closet and being homophobic or anything that's like pretty normal but um but ultimately i, I think this is just like dude stuff <clears throat> watch any five minutes of otk content and you'll see this i mean dude me and will literally dry hump each other all the time on camera like that's you know what i mean uh, what the fuck do you what are you what are you talking about like love taps sack taps um you know it's just you you're gay with your boys especially like there's two different types of dudes you know what i mean it's like if you're comfortable with your sexuality you can get real gay with your homies okay if or, or if you're very uncomfortable with your sexuality okay and and also homophobic you can still get very gay with your uh, with your uh, homies as well so but it's just guys being dudes straight up so then there were venmo messages they they're using as like an an example of them uh, being gay and the venmo messages are like the oldest fucking straight guy shit on the planet which is like you know stephen smith paid madison Cawthorn for loving me daily and nightly the quickie at the airport the stuff we did in amsterdam getting naked for me in sweden this is literally like have you never had a friend this is the type of shit that you one million percent this is this is only for an audience of people who have never had a friend in their lives okay they've like they've never even like accidentally had uh, a, a companion uh, that they uh, do not have sexual interest for but are just simply joshing and joking around this is like also very fratty humor too um i've also mentioned this before where it's like um you know I've talked about this before jokingly, but there is something very homoerotic about 
dudes being in an enclosed space with one another, whether it be like basic training uh, or whether it be fucking, uh, you know, a fraternity or organized sports where, you know, dudes get real fucking gay with one another and will make jokes like this. That's part, and that does not stop them from being incredibly homophobic. As a matter of fact, uh, conservative dudes do this shit too all the time for the record. Okay. But as a matter of fact, Sometimes they are even more homophobic because, as I described to you yesterday, like the Sam, uh, the the Michael Sam stuff in the NFL when he came out, they were like, "Whoa, we can't have him in the locker room," because like they're doing gay shit in the locker room, and like, "Oh, if there's an actual gay person there, well, then they're having fun and they're enjoying it." And I'm like, "My brother in Christ, you don't even know, but there are some motherfuckers enjoying it regardless." Okay, so um, <laughs> whether you know it or not, so that is like. Uh, a very common trope as well um, in organized sports where like people do some gay shit to one another um, in, in locker rooms and, and all that sort of thing. Like if you've never had this experience, then, you know, I'm, I'm just take my word for it. Basically um, gay is okay. As long as it's not, as it's not fun. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, High, high school football was the most homoerotic thing I've done, and I fuck men. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So they are trying to take this like super literal and super serious, and they're basically just saying, like, this video is one of the several exhibits filed in support of an ethics complaint, which calls for an investigation in the Cawthorn. Like, what what is the ethics complaint here? That <laughs> that he's gay, possibly with his homies? Like, that's anyway. Um it's hilarious. And I know that like a lot of liberals are also like, Ooh, you're gay. And they're just like being homophobic for no fucking reason. But this is straight up straight guy behavior. Uh, this does not absolve you from even being fucking uh, homophobic. Personally, a lot of straight dudes that do this sort of stuff are themselves incredibly homophobic. Um, this video is one of the several exhibits filed in support of an ethics complaint. Among the many allegations, the claim that Cawthorn provided thousands of dollars in loans and gifts to Smith um, so which Republicans are behind the Cawthorn leaks? It's clear they're out for blood. We discussed the GOP civil war tonight. Okay. So we have a video of him, <laughs> your honor. Uh, I would like to file an exhibit, uh, here to show you that Madison Cawthorn is certainly gay because there is no known footage of him ever saying no homo after touching his homie. Uh, clearly <laughs> your honor, here's footage of Madison Cawthorn in a hot tub. And you can see that he is seated three feet away from his friend Stephen. obviously the rule is five feet apart otherwise it's gay your honor it's very clear that uh my man is a homosexual and not a homosexual case closed and the, and the uh, yeah and then the judge is like you're right homosexual court is in order <laughs> this this courtroom has now been adjourned <laughs> anyway um yeah, court ruling got him. <laughs> court ruling, sus. Okay, so. Um, does anyone know if Madison has simply said no homo? Yeah, exactly. We don't know. We don't know. So he might be. So uh, all this stuff is like, who cares, right? Um, I'm not even interested in this shit at all, but. Um, I mean, it's, it's interesting rather, but not, uh, you know, damning in my opinion. It could have some staying power, I think, in in the Republican primary, but not all that significant in my opinion. But he's married, bro. Madison is married. No more. He is no longer married, actually. His wife divorced him. His wife is kind of cute as well. She's like a fitness model. Uh, there's some really... Um, as the gay liberal in the chat, I agree 100% with you. All this 100% straight dude stuff, the dick tap instead of grab proves that. Yeah. Um, it's not gay to feel your homie's dick if he's paralyzed on the way he's not. Okay, dude, chill. I mean, I don't know what the rules are on that, but... Uh, <laughs> it, it, okay, let's move on, okay? So... <laughs> Christ. Um, ultimately, even if he's gay or not, none of this matters, uh, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, and, and, you know, I don't even think it's going to matter in the Republican primaries, but I'm sure there's more stuff that's slated to come out against him. But when this stuff popped off, even with the cocaine orgy stuff, 
original. Even before all this opera research came out, I was like, yo, I want to have Madison Cawthorn on the stream. Because I want to hear him about, I want to hear him out about this stuff. Because he had reached out to me a year prior. 